He killed a grandmother and stuffed her body in a trunk. But a jury is sparing the, sparing rather the life of a murderer. Tonight, jurors recommended life without the possibility of parole for Daniel French. He murdered 87-year-old Barbara Howe. Angela Ingram has a wrap of today's events. Daniel French hung his head and his lawyers comforted him while the judge read the jury's decision. The family of 87-year-old Barbara Howe left relieved that the jury recommended life in prison without the possibility of parole. Yes, I'm, I'm pleased. I think justice was served for yeah. Barbara. During the penalty phase, French's siblings took the stand, telling the jury that they were severely abused as kids. The prosecutor says that may be true, but French's siblings didn't end up killing anybody. Prosecutor Mike Moser says the jury's decision will give him guidance in future cases. Obviously, the jury decided that there were mitigating factors that would spare this man his life, and I needed to know that, and I asked them to give me guidance with respect to how they considered depression and so forth as mitigating factors. We're uh, very happy about the verdict for a life verdict. Uh, it's appropriate in this uh, facts and circumstances in Daniel French's life. There was also testimony that French suffers from depression and post-traumatic stress disorder. French's lawyers are pleased his life was spared. He's doing much better with the life verdict. Um, you know, for many years he wanted to die. Um, and he, uh, I believe, through this case, he's decided that he does want to live. And the family of a woman who was loved and cherished finally has some closure. And we've put it behind us. And we'll just remember the good things about Barbara and just cherish all the good times. And it's been hard for both families. French had already pleaded guilty to several other charges, and the judge will formally sentence him on the 16th. In Hamilton, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. The judge will formally sentence French November 16th.